if I were to ask you to think of a dinosaur movie, there is a high chance you would say Jurassic Park. This just shows the massive influence of Jurassic Park over dinosaur media. And with its influence, it has forever changed dinosaur media. Let's get right into it. To understand its influence, we need to see what dinosaur movies were like before Jurassic Park. If you look into it, you might notice most dinosaur movies came out before 1960 or after 1993. The ones that came out in between didn't do great or look great. Like this one from the 80s called Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. As you can see, it didn't have the best visuals, ratings, or box office earnings. If you look, you might notice a large amount of dinosaur films before the 60s. Because at this time, there was a boom in dinosaur popularity, but as paleontology declined, so did dinosaur popularity, and naturally, so did dinosaur movies. Now let's look at the creation of Jurassic Park. <coughs> Michael Crichton told Steven Spielberg about a book he was making while they were working on a TV show called ER. When Spielberg read the book almost a year before it was released, he almost instantly started working on Jurassic Park. After 25 months of pre-production, he finally got to start filming, and after 3 months of filming, it was finally complete. Almost all the effects in the movie are practical effects, which is one of the reasons why the effects are so good. Now let's talk about its release. Sing with me, sing for the year, sing for the left, sing for on June 11th, 1993, Jurassic Park was released in theaters. Jurassic Park made $50 million opening weekend, which at the time was the world record. Until the movie would go on to make over $1 billion at the box office. Now let's look at the movie's lasting influence. That, that's, that's the entire chapter. Why did I make a chapter so short? After the release of Jurassic Park, interest in paleontology skyrocketed, which brought the field back from the brink of death, but it also changed dinosaur media forever. For starters, it was the first dinosaur film to really use genetic engineering, and now dinosaurs are commonly associated with genetic engineering. It also set the standard for special effects by blending practical effects with computer-generated effects, making it look amazing. These effects still hold today, and the movie was released over 30 years ago at this point. It also changed the way we see dinosaurs. At the time of its release, it had the most scientifically accurate dinosaurs outside of documentaries, and now most movies and TV shows try to replicate the designs used by Jurassic Park. Gen accuracies are also common in dinosaur media. For example, you've probably heard that T-Rex could only see movement. Don't move. Can't see us if we don't move. But that's just something Jurassic Park made up. Same with Dilophosaurus being a small, frilled, and venom-spitting dinosaur. This is now the version we see in almost every movie, TV show, and video game. And the Velociraptor was really only about the size of a chicken, but they were rarely depicted as smaller than a human. The reason they didn't call them Utah Raptors, which would be way more accurate, is because Ruby wanted to use the same dinosaurs the novel used. And when the novel was written, Utah Raptor hadn't been discovered yet. Another inaccuracy is the broken or pronated wrists on theropods. But in their defense, it was widely accepted they did have pronated wrists until 2004. Let's move to inclusion now. In conclusion, wow, it feels like I'm writing an essay right now. Anyways, in conclusion, Jurassic Park had both good and bad effects on dinosaur media and paleontology as a whole. And please let me know in the comments if I missed something, because I'm sure I did. This video took forever to make, more script, but it's what you all chose. I hope you all enjoyed this and maybe learned something, but if you want to see more like this, please click the subscribe button, as it would help me out a ton, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.